Welcome back to the channel. Y'all been asking for this for a while, so we're bringing it back. Uh, Tokyo Avengers. I meant to react this a little bit ago. Just too lazy as all it is. How are y'all doing, though? It's been a wild week. I got banned on TikTok on all my accounts, and I haven't done anything. So, fuck it. We're just going to be on YouTube kicking it. If you're new, man, make sure you hit that sub button, like the video. Clip these, click these, put them on TikTok. Show me what we're doing over here. I'm not too pressed about it. If I don't get my account back, oh well, I don't really care. Because we're here on YouTube. I might make a new account, we'll see what happens, but right now I'm just not, fuck it. I'm not in the mood. Genuinely, I'm not. So, okay. Here we are. Let's get it. Tokyo Avengers episode three. And with all that being said, thank y'all so much for tuning in every day. I love y'all. If you find these videos funny, make sure you share them around with your friends, family, etc. And with all that being said, let's get straight into it. <laughs> Oh yeah, Takamichi, you better put your hands on me. Damn! Takamichi, why did you let that nigga hit you off the rip, though? Like, you didn't even attempt to dodge it. You just let him punch on you, though. He hit you right in your stomach. I know you felt like throwing up. God! God! This is a grown man punching on, like, a 12-year-old. Think about this. This nigga has no life. He gets no bitches. I refuse to believe any nigga that is above the age of 18 who is bullying 12-year-olds gets hosed. That shit's not attractive, bro. I promise. Look at this nigga, bro. He over there. He's really making him feel it, too. Like, what the fuck is wrong with him? Damn! You, why, you need a 12-year-old. He's punching on him like he a grown-ass man. What is going on right now? Takamichi, put your hands on him. I'm mad they're sitting there celebrating this shit too. Like, this is a, clearly a one sided fight. A grown man is punch. Am I the only nigga confused by that? A grown ass man is punching on a 12 year old. What the fuck? Who and what? And whose mind is that okay? You bastard. The fuck? That nigga, what, what is he about to do? <laughs> Bro, if he walks up and stabs that nigga and shit and mangles that nigga inside, he has my ultimate respect. Because this nigga's a bitch. I can't lie to you. Pick up somebody your own size. Fuck out of here. I don't care that Takamichi started the fight. Nigga, you look like you have enough sense to not punch on a 12-year-old. Nigga was smoking a ciggy. You clearly have enough sense to make a decision about some shit like that. You know, hey, Takamichi got heart, though. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I'm not fighting no grown-ass man at 12. That nigga put his hands on me. I'm going to go find a brick and bust him upside his head with it. I promise. Nigga ain't get away with no shit like that. I respect that nigga heart. At least he's trying to fight back. Most niggas just lay down and take it. Real talk. Blowing your fucking kidney out and shit. It's really him. The vice commander of the Tokyo Manji gang. This nigga just look like a man. I don't know who this is. I've seen a lot of like shit about him on TikTok. But just based on this tattoo alone, this nigga ain't got no life. I'll tell you that right now. Any nigga that got a tattoo on their face, neck, arm, or a tattoo on their head, neck, or just, it just shows like this, like my nigga. They ain't got no sense. Listen, I was told don't get a tattoo. Know where you gonna regret it. This nigga got on the side of his fucking cranium. And he don't care. I promise you. This nigga's a menace just based on his tattoo. Can he really be the head of the Tokyo Manji gang? Manjiro Sano? Yes, nigga, it's in his name. Manjiro. Manji gang. You can't connect the dots? What the fuck? So, who are you? <sighs> Takemichi acting like a real bitch. This nigga walked up on you, fell back. Bro, you should have looked that nigga in the eye like, who are you? Nigga. Fuck you. Like, what? He ain't got no sauce. Nigga, it's clearly a cool nigga in the room. Be cool. Like, it's not that hard. Huh? <laughs> so you. I don't like how he's sitting. Hey, pause. Real talk. Don't don't put your, your, your ass on my meat like this. This is weird. I don't, ain't no man ever gonna sit on top of me like this. This is it's a little weird. You know what I'm saying? What if I got a stiffy? Oh, okay then. This is weird. <laughs> God! <laughs> Broke his nose. Why did he beat him to a bloody pulp? What's the problem? Holy shit. This nigga walked over. It's black Air Force energy everywhere. Kicked that nigga in his shit. Showed him what the deal he was. That's tough. Hey, he let him know he a bitch, though. He really is, though. He was punching on a 12-year-old. I forget that. You are a bitch. You deserve that. I promise. Well, Naruto. 
I've met Manjiro Sano. Uh, nigga, your lips are so big you can stick a pencil on that motherfucker. You got some dick sucker lips. That's crazy. <laughs> hey, there he is. You can just walk into my school, punch on my teachers, and abduct me from class. Is that what's about to go down right now? Come out and play with us, Takamichi. What the fuck? <laughs> Bro, they just walked into into his school. No, this A. Hey, this is why school shootings happen. Nobody defending the school. What the fuck? The fact that you can just walk into a school, punch on the teachers, and then abduct a student in Japan is crazy. Other people is totally normal. It's just a part of their daily routine, like brushing their teeth. And you can tell they really enjoy it too, because they ain't got no fucking pupils. They ain't got no soul, bro. I promise you, any character in anime drawn without a pupil has no fucking soul. You can see it happens every time. I can't name any off the top of my head, but every time you notice they don't have a pupil, they have a problem in their noggin. I promise. Okay, let's go. Hold on. His girl will ride or die, though. I respect it. She about to interrupt all that shit. Let these niggas know. This is my man's. You're not finna just abduct him and steal my date. Fuck is she talking about? This is why I respect her. She a ride or die. She don't care who it is. This is me and him only. I need me a girl like that. Ride or die. Fuck is you talking about? Oh. What is he gonna do? I can protect you. At least you know she cares. This is what I'm talking. That's a relationship. Real talk. She saw that he clearly wasn't comfortable and stepped in immediately. If my girl cannot recognize when I'm not comfortable with certain things, bro, she needs to go. She stepped in and he immediately made sure no stupid shit happened. That's a real woman. Real talk. And she in middle school. And if it's happening because of you two, I'll put a stop to it. A1 woman right there. Takamichi, hold on to her. She's a she, Mary. I know you don't get married in the future. Change that. Change it. A1 sauce right there. Off of her. What you And Takamichi about to defend her? Oh, this is amazing. This is a relationship. I promise. They actually give a fuck. This, this is a W. I'm already invested. I don't care what happens next. I don't. I said you take your hands off her right now! You don't but you won't look him in the eye, though, and that's the problem. You don't scare nobody, you're not looking in the eyes. You gotta, if you go put your foot down, you gotta look somebody directly in the eye. Hey, don't do that shit. You know what I mean? Put your, put some bass in your voice. You're just yelling, you're not putting bass in your shit. Get off my girl, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, put some, put some, mm, in your shit. You've decided to die. <laughs> What the fuck? I do what I want. <laughs> Psych. <laughs> okay. Like I'd ever hit a woman. So now you got some standing. Like you didn't just walk into motherfucking your own gang's territory and kick a nigga. You stepped on like twelve niggas' backs. Come on now. Like I nah, <laughs> I can't. But I res at least he has a, a some type of ethics. You know what I mean? Huh? Some things you gotta fight for. And they respect him now! This is a W! I like this. We can do that another time. Your friends came here to see- And she's understanding. Bro, she's like the perfect girlfriend. I don't know how they end up breaking up. Real talk. She has every quality of like a good girl. I don't know how they broke up. Is it because he moved? Is that why is that really the reason they broke up? At least not the kind of guy who'd crash a truck into a festival and kill Hinata. That means that's a clue that it was probably by accident that truck hit that building and killed her. That's my guess. Huh? It's not like you get do-overs. Oh, there got that nigga right there with that nasty ass cut in the side of his fucking head. What the? That nigga like a real menace. He met Sano and changed him. That's exactly- look at, look at his face. You can just tell. That nigga got the Orochimaru face. We know what's going on, bro. You were corruptible. I promise. Mm, that's weird. I think I've seen that guy somewhere. Alright, that's going to be the end of this episode. We're going to do one video at a time, just because I want it to last. But, with all that being said, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button, hit that sub, and let me know what you want to react to next in the comments, and I'm out of here.